I will speak about uh, the competition entry for daylight investigations in the Eastern Europe category. And the project that we chose is called the Theater of Light. And in the investigation in this project, we, we are taken into a very sensitive investigation about how light is actually destructive, which is an interesting point of view because the projects that we looked at Almost 600 of them were all about showing the benefits of light. And this was an exception because it was an investigation into how we might understand how artificial light and how it impacts our world and the globe is actually negative. So I think what we found in this project was a number of things. One is it was very reflective on how humankind and light are actually not always helping our role on this planet. It was also helpful in showing how very poetic intervention in a space can make us aware of things, that you don't need to make big architecture in order to make a big architectural statement. And I think we found this a very nice gesture. And in this manner, as a jury, we were convinced that it was the winning entry in this topic. So the winner in the category Daylight Investigations uh, for the Americas is uh, the project Air Quality Index Pavilion. Um, it's some kind of uh, installation uh, about a 10 meter wide uh, rows of glass uh, that uh, is created to show the pollution of air. By walking into the sculpture, it's not only that you are getting a part of the sculpture, but it's also, uh, in the other way, changing the way that you see your surrounding, the environment. Uh, the deeper you enter the project, the more it changes. So it, on the one hand, has a very technical uh, view on the competition topic, but on the other hand, it's also very poetic as well. Uh, therefore, congratulations. The winner is a project named Bright Roots. It's an installation in the subway and with uh, fiber lines suspended in the, in the ceiling of the, of the subway. And they provide, they transfer the outside light into the subway. Within the category Daylight Investigations in Asia and Oceania, the uh, jury decided to give the winning prize to the project Light Therapy. It's a project that explores how the degradation of building materials can be resolved in new and innovative ways. The project explores how um, concrete cracks occur and how they can be repaired and it pursues very specifically the idea of having the concrete self-repair with a fluorescent material which in an innovative way brings light to the building so this has the effect of both repairing something and at the same time bringing new attributes to the structures at hand congratulations to the winner the winner of the category Daylight in Buildings uh, in Africa is a project uh, A Million Little Lights. It's dealing with the recycling of waste. Uh, it's a low budget project uh, that was quite well designed, uh, even in details, uh, sought out quite well, and has uh, the quality that it's not only dealing with lights, but also with ventilation. Uh, it uh, offers the opportunity to bring in light and fresh air into buildings. I could imagine that it would be even nicer to uh, show it in other buildings as well with uh, natural materials, etc. But uh, the project itself uh, we liked uh, very much and therefore congratulations. The winner in the category Eastern Europe and Middle East Daylight in Buildings is the project Sun City. This project focuses on the construction of a tool that allows uh, organizing and also reviewing or, or adjusting 
the transformation and programming the, of the uses and the processes of, of a city. Um, this project manages the rights to the use of natural light so that each part of a building benefits when it gets in relation to another neighbor, resulting uh, in a balanced formulation of gaps and voids that uh, enhances not, not only the right to natural light, but also the social interactions of its inhabitants and nature. Congratulations to the winners. The source of this study was to show how salt water can be collected and by taking out the salt through various uh, photosynthetic methods and transforming the water into a desalinated system in a kind of skylight which collects the non-salinated water. It can then be turned into a kind of source of drinkable water for a home which doesn't have any running water access nor does it have natural daylight. We were impressed by the way that the whole uh, project was presented, the graphics that were both uh, alluding to a dream, a thought, and a solution in a future, but also offering a very tangible technical solution in the present. So it was looking at both the present and the future at the same time, which was also convincing for us as a jury. So this is very interesting and we have been all moved by this project. The winner of the category Asia Light in Building is in Kent Light. The project is working with um, a certain memory, a quality of memory of the, of the ink and the papers and the inscription and calligraphy of the, from the region of Qian. And um, the competitors wanted to express through the installation in the courtyard of buildings after having discovered that most of the older buildings have been destroyed and, uh, and uh, with the new even with the new buildings, they can create something. And they wanted to play with shadow, with um, the darkness and uh, the, some transformation of the light from dark to white or to clear by suspending above the courtyard some balloons. So this is very interesting and we have been all moved by this project. And the winner for the category Africa Daylight Investigation is the project um, Let There Be Light, which is a very synthetic but intense approach for a landscape transformation in an inner city slum of Nigeria. With a very little energy and very few materials, the project manages to transform not only urban life, but also a landscape that demands actions uh, of this type uh, in order to resignify the aesthetic value of these places and the beauty, the beauty value of these uh, uh, places in Nigeria. I think the process, the, the project is a very nice startup to look again uh, over these places with a positive, in a positive way. And these few materials are very well done to focus on on a beautiful landscape they described with the with with the images. So congratulations to the winner. Within the category daylight investigations in Western Europe, we have chosen to give the winning prize to the project Words to Light. And uh, this project aims at giving voice and visibility to a marginalized group in society and specifically the homeless in Brussels by giving them luminous shelters, tents that are lit up. And um, by doing so, this makes an invisible group of people visible. Many congratulations to the winner for a strong contribution. By the jury has selected honorable mention. Uh, we have an extra project um, that is called uh, Melody of the light. I think it's a very poetic uh, project uh, because it's dealing with uh, very simple elements. Uh, you could see very well how the uh, project was developed uh, by adjusting very small elements uh, to define different light conditions, daylight conditions in the interior. 
uh, and uh, that spoke very strong to us. Congratulations to this one.